Yay, here we are again with Civilization 5 and we are still playing China. Uh, I've been having a break um, for a couple of days uh, or so, but now we're back again with our China game and do I need to do a bit of a recap. Uh, I just loaded the game, I haven't even checked it out. So yeah, um, in our foreign politics we are um, pretty much uh, on a collision course now with Arabia here because they are autocratic and we are of course freedom uh, so yeah there will be a collision of some sorts there uh, uh, the Dutch up here have been getting feisty towards us um, they don't like us anymore um, over here we have some interesting developments. Um, Attila has been uh, conquering a lot of territory, specifically down here in Japan. In the previous episode he took Kyoto even, so he's now pretty much our neighbor. Kind of worrying, but yeah, um, what else? We haven't dealt uh, too much with the Greece, but they're still out here pretty big and our main enemy as uh, we know from the previous episodes it's the Ottoman Empire of course because they have stolen once once upon a time they stole our terracotta army from us and they are going to get an atomic bomb for that sooner or later um, what more uh, city-states yeah, we have two of them, Kiev and Belgrade up there, just to keep a logical control over this uh, sea here. Uh, some pretty important trade routes going out. How are we doing there? We could have one more, I think I'm building one somewhere, so yeah. Oh yeah, he's, be he's coming out in one turn, so uh, we'll probably trade with that. Perhaps India or uh, even uh, Constantinople. Scientifically we are doing great. I think we are uh, uh, <coughs> the most advanced civilization. We are now doing a railroad. Uh, can I build submarines? I really love submarines. Uh, yeah, I'm building one already, aren't I? So. Railroad in seven turns, that's going to be a lot of fun and we are going to have uh, something for our workers to do. Um, we are running out of tiles to improve actually. Uh, but it's looking really cool. The whole game now looks really smashing. Look at this city. Beijing, yeah. Uh, it, it's just a beautiful game nowadays. Really beautiful. Yeah, I've been looking forward to getting back into this game now. Um, so, if I do take my breaks a couple of weeks or so, uh, don't worry, I'll be back uh, because I really like making videos and I really like uh, playing games like this. It's kind of a new way to play, play games. Um, and I've been doing it for the most part of this year. So, yeah, I'm pretty... U I've gotten used to it already, uh, speaking into the mic and all, and uh, I, I kind of like it. I would like to actually strengthen my defenses around Rotterdam just a bit, because uh, you never know what he might be doing there. I'm not going to wage an offensive war against uh, the, uh, the Dutch. If they come, they are more than welcome. Look what kind of technology they have and they are trading with us so I I'm not expecting an attack but you never know in case Arabia though attacks us then we will we will go and take um, one of his cities uh, and just raise it uh, I think he might actually do that is he trading with us yeah yeah he is yeah, we have we have a sufficient number of troops in this area, so uh, I'm not worried. I'm going to send this Gatling gun out out here and deploy it up on that hill there. Should be good. <coughs> 
we have sheep over here we need to work on those but we have uh, those workers are still doing their business there I'm actually going to leave this unit here just uh, place it on alert mode <coughs> you guys go up against the border here just make him a bit nervous what was I doing with you I do not remember but uh, I'm going to sail sail out here oh we have a barbarian here nice Sweden in case of a war with Arabia I'm really worried about my trade route here it will probably be raided by a Ara <coughs> Arabia in that case and that that's not good but I'd really like a war with him though I don't think he has much of a navy and uh, I'd really like to uh, blow away some of his stuff with my submarines I love the submarine it's really a cool unit I hope I get to show it off let's sail around here a bit uh, take out these uh, uh, undiscovered areas here um, yeah I can also scroll the map by clicking on the mini map here that's probably easier but I I really kinda like dragging the map panning it um, <coughs> yeah what more I'm wondering if I should do anything about Attila like denounce him or something would be kind of cool our happiness yeah uh, we are back up to three we have some dissidents in our uh, in our nation but we're back up to three now um, and we are going to continue and pumping those uh, economic buildings uh, because they strengthen happiness in our capitalist China so we are going to really focus on that um, and yeah research of course science oh he's friendly towards us blimey that's that's kind of good Gandhi is friendly he is friendly Alexander is friendly Gustavus is friendly Theodora yeah we have some good relations here don't we uh, but Japan is pretty much out of the game at this point I can't see them coming back really a really really interesting situation what happened here really interesting India took uh, Satsuma Attila came in like a steamroller here took uh, Nara and Kyoto even took Delhi at some point there up up there yeah um, okay let's go to the next turn and see if something um, interesting happens here Japan has denounced the Huns who could have guessed we should have a city here I can't build any more cities right now due to the happiness here um, happiness is keeping us back ah what was that it was a frigate from where ha there she goes Theodora has entered the modern era so they are all the other nations are very far behind oh that was a good lag wasn't it this game usually doesn't lag on my system it's very very stable it doesn't crash it doesn't lag it doesn't uh, create any sort of problems it's just well balanced and well working nowadays Swedish trading ship there oh oh <coughs> we lost the cotton from Haroon uh, that's worrying can we get Arabian Great War infantry I don't like the look of that I do not like the look of that that's uh, far more modern than we can we can do at this point so he's been getting ahead in that department at least let's check on the queue here uh, yeah so Arabia is inside the uh, 
modern era too, obviously. Really worrying. I, I'm going to queue this up so we can get the um, Great War infantry as well. Flight is also kind of cool. Really, really cool re indeed. Anti-aircraft guns, battleships, carriers. Oh, all the all all the goodies here. Yeah, but first we go for railroad. Still seven turns. Uh, what happened there? Now I should need to get more cotton or other luxuries going from somewhere. No, I have cotton, but. Uh, he had. We provided cotton to him. He provi um, He provided silk to us. Okay, that's how it went. Um, I'd really like to be on a uh, really clear collision course with him. So uh, I would not like to trade with him. Could I exchange my cotton for something else from someone else? Something from you, perhaps? Incense, you have that, you have also, you have gold there, salt. Let's try and trade with her. <coughs> she doesn't look too happy now, does she? Melima. Melima. Is that Italian? No, I think she's speaking Greek. Let's try to trade. Aku. Bellissimo. You have whales, you have gold, you have furs and salt. I have. Uh, you probably have them. You are probably trading cotton with someone else then. Do you want a bit of truffles? I want. I want. Could we trade salt versus truffles? That would be a fair deal. Yeah. Vipo feel. What was that? We feel. Yeah, I feel you. Now, we're back up in place and uh, we are um, ending our deals in a natural way with Arabia. Um, kind of causing mm, border tension, if you will. Where did he get his, um, actually his... Um, Great War Infantry. Do I have a spy I could send over? Um, where are my spies? Let's check on that. Stockholm. Why? You're schmoozing, aren't you? Yeah, and you are rigging elections in Jerusalem. You are in Kiev to rig elec elections. That wouldn't... Yeah, that's necessary because Arabia has been uh, trying to get into Kiev as well. So now I'm going to move you from Jerusalem and I'm going to move you to Arabia to Damascus. Is that your capital? No, can't be. Mecca. Ma What's the capital of Arabia? I would guess Mecca. Yeah, 20. So let's move you there as a spy. Good. Uh, yeah, Mecca. A little star there. Really cool. But where did he get these? I, I can't believe that he's in the modern era yet. It's really worrying because these are good troops and they can take out my riflemen. They're a step, step higher there. Oh well. Um, Kuala Lumpur Theodora has entered the modern area, yeah. Ah, here here we are, yeah. He has entered the modern era. Gustavus declared war on Oda. Uh, William declared war on Oda. I don't like it. Uh, Nanjing. Yeah, this was our really good research. Uh, location really 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 good research going here uh, I would like to build a submarine but that's not going to happen so we'll go for happy buildings or 
everything's good here but it will take a long time to build these things because um, this city is only focused on science so let's do something to boost production and there are no more science buildings in here to be built so we'll boost production just a bit in this in this uh, location then sea port um, production plus two with the windmill that's really good but it has a maintenance cost uh, workshop production plus two. Oh yes this is better in it yes it's better let's do the workshop it's better ten turns uh, you oh that's kinda sad I thought I could upgrade ironclads to um, submarines that would have been quite logical actually the ironclad was created um, or invented during the American Civil War but the Confederacy also invented the first real submarine uh, God I don't remember its name but I think the ship it sunk it placed it had a, a kind of an arm in the front and it placed a mine under a, a Yankee uh, ship and damaged it I don't think it sank it though but uh, after they had placed the mine and, and it had exploded the whole submarine sunk and uh, the whole crew perished um, it was recently found at the bottom of the sea uh, I don't remember its name I think the ship it sunk was named House Atonic or something but that was also during the American Civil War so there were, were a lot of inventions going on they call the American Civil War the first really modern war so and yes it was uh, because uh, the American Civil War is established uh, the kind of warfare that we uh, so on the Western Front later on in uh, uh, World War One, uh, kind of trench warfare, the Battle of uh, Petersburg, I think. Yeah, the Battle of Petersburg, where Lee defended against uh, a superior northern force. It was a real First World War battle, actually, or World War One style. Mm -hmm really interesting war I, I I'd really like a game to uh, let's play about that war I'm really interested in the American Civil War it has all the ingredients now let's see mm, we're going to trade with William or no we're going to choose the most lucrative and that's Mecca yeah would not like that. I wouldn't like Mecca because I want to. I want to make my relations go bad with Arabia. But yeah, I need. No, that would help him scientifically as well. I'm actually going to be stupid and just do Utrecht although it's not the most lucrative and that will help William scientifically well I'm going to do Utrecht no matter what maybe a stupid decision there but now you guys are going on alert just stay there ah uh, uh, ah truffles we like our truffles in China. We do. We live for our truffles. And yeah, another trade route about to be established. Uh, I could trade with Japan, but I don't see that they will be living too long anymore. Oh, look at the output from that. 17 gold from Athens, but it's a long route and it will be raided. I think the previous route out to um, oh I like it and it would also help India a bit uh, because I think the next target for Attila is actually India so we're going to go for this it's also the most profitable we're going to go to Vi Via Via Nagara yeah 
that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> Let's check where it where it's at. Oh, over there. I would. I, I do have good control over this area, but it would be even better to have a sort of naval presence in that area as well. Mm, but I can't take that one. And this one really needs to protect here because I do not want Attila to come over and uh, start causing problems here. Are we actually building any more... Uh, any more... Archaeologists. Why am I building riflemen here? Let's do the hotel first, then the riflemen. Military academy, let's do that too. <coughs> we might actually get the. Uh, no, I don't think we'll get to uh, replaceable parts before. I won't be building any more infantry until I get replaceable parts, so let's just remove these riflemen here. Let's do it like this. Oh no! Now I lost production in, in the queue there, didn't I? Damn. Oh well. That's stupid. I should have built that uh, rifleman unit, the first one at least. Damn it. Oh well. Stupid decisions. You could be upgraded, but how do we look here? 76 of 60, that's good. 70 of 60, that's pretty good. Income is kind of good. Uh, so I'll... Uh, I would like to upgrade some old units. Do we have old cannons? Yeah, we do. So let's do those first. And um, this is the last of our Choco news, I think. If I'm correct, I think so, yeah. Unit needs orders. And that's you. <coughs> let's harass him upon his border here, just a bit. A uh, Greek frigate. I'll send this frigate now uh, up here to protect that very vital trade route. Uh, okay. <coughs> Do we have any more oil than that? That's four oil. I think I have one here. Yeah, that's a really good source th right there. Really, really great source. Coal. Um, but we do not have the aluminium. Not that we need it as yet, but... Um, maybe I just have to invade Jerusalem. I've been thinking about that, actually, but I don't think... I don't think the other city-states would love me for it, but um, if we need our resources, we do, then we need to go to war for them. Ah, <coughs> still run uh, running around with Phalanx and it's 1920. Oh, with Attila. Yeah, give me 10 turns to prepare. I'll join your war against Attila. Uh, it's going to probably be a uh, uh, war just in theory, but we need to keep him back. I'll see if I can get a, an open borders agreement with uh, India, so I can just send over troops and uh, just harass him a bit. Uh, that's going to be fun. Also, I need another ship out here. Or send one up here. Something. That's going to be fun, but it's going to start in 10 turns. What? Where did I get salt from? Where did I get salt? 
Did I become al an ally of someone? Um, where does that salt come from? I like it. Where does it come from? I'm not quite sure. But lots of happiness because of that, but we're still at three. Ah, I'm not going to uh, look for that now, but. What was that city-state? That was a city-state. I must have become allied with uh, some city-state now. Just because. Um, let's check on that. Belgrade? Yeah, that's a known ally. And keep. No, we are just allied with Kiev and Belgrade. Ah, and I forgot you can't trade with the the city-states because the world so-called congress um, prohibited that so we must have sold somewhere within our borders now um, and have built upon it really mm. No, God, I'm okay. I'm chasing shadows again. I traded salt with her. Good lord, I'm so stupid. Stupid. Oh. Good lord. Oh well, uh, back to business. We are going to build upon the truffles. And you have built a trading post. What next? Uh, we have built on that. We have built on that. We do not have anything here. We could build one of those uh, sexy lumber mills here. That's what we are going to do. Artillery here. Nice looking guns. They look really cool when they fire too. Um, put them on alert. Soon we are going to have a war and ah, I'm going to test my submarine. I really hope Attila has one or two ships about so I can go blow them up with my submarine. Two turns, yeah, and the war starts in ten, so that's going to be really, really fun. It's just going to be a limited war, just to try and uh, damage him a bit. <laughs> look at that, he's attacking Osaka now. Let's send our ironclad out to have a look. We can see anything here. Byzantine cannon, yeah, they're preparing. Can I enter? No, I can't enter his uh, space. But yeah, Osaka is also falling to the uh, Huns now. It, it, uh, it's a massacre. So yeah, we we need to throw our weight around a bit to try and keep him uh, keep him back. Chinese pikemen. Oh, I was complaining about uh, William's pikemen, wasn't I? And I still have them myself. Let's keep this uh, ship in the vicinity, but uh, there's not much we can see. You guys get up on that hill. And we go to the next turn. Right here, right now. Where are you going with that? I'd really like to shoot at them now. Great merchant. Oh, he's going up to one of the... Uh, small states here this frigate will return I don't think it's any well there might be barbarians around so let's just sail around a bit and yeah next turn he has aluminium William has it everyone has aluminium but me Really interesting. Ah, musketman. Dutch musketman. Mm. 
New research agreement between Byzantium and Greece. Oh, I don't like that. Oh yeah, great artist. Oh, I love it. I love this. this. We're going to create a painting or something. But well, our 30 minutes are up. We are back in business with uh, our Civilization 5 Let's Play. I'm hoping to upload again once a day, but I can't promise anything about that. But um, yeah, I'm hoping to do that again now from now on. So yeah, we'll continue with this in the next episode. I thank you for watching this one. Cheers.